guys um welcome to the channel man my name's carl this is carl's off-road this is my homemade outdoor boiler and uh today we're going to be testing out a different nozzle design it's similar uh much smaller holes and a lot more of them um just made this it's i rolled it i didn't i don't have a roller so i used my metal brake but didn't turn out round it's roundish <laughs> so we're going to stick that in there and it is stainless steel it's pretty thin it won't last you know i might get a month or two out of this but and i don't even know we'll see how it burns with these smaller holes so it might last longer i don't know that's what we're here to find out so i'm gonna stick this in here <clears throat> just sits in the bottom of the in the boiler <clears throat> here is what we did a bunch of tiny little holes all the way around there's 32 on the bottom well this would be the bottom like this there's 32 here 8 8 32 again um and they're all i don't even know what bit size looks to be about eighth inch I just grabbed a bit, started drilling. I did try and mark them, but I didn't really stick to it once I got rolling. <laughs> That's how we roll around here. So anyways, um, we're going to get it in the, in the boiler. It's fairly simple. <clears throat> just get her centered in that oblong burn pot as good as we can. You guys see that? And then I just have a radiator clamp here to hold. The nozzle. Oh, you know what? I never showed you the bottom. Show you the bottom too, how I put my feed line. You can see my feed line here, but it runs all the way through the middle of this pipe. And I actually have to cut it here to get it the 90 through there, but, and there's the bottom. Oil feed lines directly in the middle. It's not connected, it's just floating in there. But I've been running it like that for, well, this is my fourth year. And I've never had that line plugged or get coked up or anything. I've never had to clean it. It always stays perfectly clean. <clears throat> I'm not saying it's the best way, but it's the best way I've found for me. So, <clears throat> And we'll get this tightened up here. <sighs> I may need to move that once we get rolling. Then I have, this is my airline. I have a little two and a half gallon shop vac in this building here just to keep it quiet for the neighbors. I don't hear it inside at all, so <clears throat> you'll hear it when we fire it up. Just some oil soaked rags and I don't have my lighter, so I'll be right back. <clears throat> all right, sorry about that. I always forget my lighter. Anyways, so I've got my feed line hooked up. It's just 3 8 rubber hose. Um, and I control it with this needle valve. I've actually got to turn the pump on. <clears throat> I'm going to do that now. Because that's going to need to prime up to get ready to go, you know. <clears throat> and I've got the vacuum going, so sorry if it's hard to hear me. toss that in there that's all there is to it just toss it in <clears throat> turn on some oil not sure how this one's gonna run so <clears throat> we're gonna find out together here start giving it a little air Yeah, not sure where to set it even for lighting because this is a new nozzle design. This was the old one. I had to cut it off, but you can see the holes are much bigger and a lot less of them. Might not even get it first try here because, like I said, I have no idea where it needs to be set. <clears throat> I 
might have cut up a little bit here. I might have way too much oil going in there, I don't know. I'm gonna go grab some more paper towel. Real time, real struggle, man. <laughs> Like I said, this is the first first round for this one, so we shall see. So it's like I'm not getting any oil in there or something. Flame like that, you gotta move your air toward that flame. Doesn't make any sense, but that's how it works for me anyway. Now you gonna bring the flame the other way, I don't know. See how the flame's coming out the front now? That seems pretty good right there, so. Yeah, 
try and bring you in and show you. He's white down in there. And it's starting to glow, I'm sure you can see that. And I haven't I don't have the oil tuned in just right. There's a lot. A lot to learn every time you change one little thing, you know. Nice clean burn, no smoke coming out of there at all. And that should be a self-cleaning burner because it's running red hot, you know. That's how I like to do it. Once I get that whole chamber hot, I'll turn the oil right down and it will, it won't have any flames coming out like that. They'll all be contained in that chamber and that'll be an optimal burn and it'll get a real deep rumble. So I'll bring you back once this gets up to temp here. It's getting close. All right, well that only took a couple seconds <laughs> after I shut the damn camera off. Um, you can hear a distinct difference too. It's more of a, you know, well you can hear it. So we'll open it up and see what she's looking like. Pretty good. It'll be a self-cleaning burner. It shouldn't build up any ash. Maybe a little, but not like, I don't know, man. I'm gonna shut that. But I've tried the blue flame. I've chased that dragon. Um, and I've had success, but the problem is I can't leave it run for any amount of time because it builds up a crust in, in the bottom of the burner and then, and then it doesn't burn properly after that. So I've gotten right away from that. And this is clean. I'm talking my chimney's white. The whole inside of the stove is white. Like it's just white. That's there's nothing. This is what comes out of there. This is the ash. And it's pure white. I mean, it's burning clean. I don't care what anybody says. So well, I appreciate you guys watching. I sorry for the audio. I didn't put my mic on. Didn't plan on doing a video really, but figured I'd show you guys what I've been up to. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that jazz. Have a great day. <laughs>